Hello, awesome artists. Let's create a beautiful symmetrical monarch butterfly. Butterfly wings are symmetrical. If I were to draw a line down the center of this butterfly, I would notice that both of the wings, shape and design are exactly the same. By folding the paper in half, you can really see this. To start our butterfly, we are also going to fold our paper in half to get a line of symmetry. Watch how I'm able to fold the paper, bringing the bottom up to the top and smoothing the crease out. Your paper is already folded, but go ahead and try it out. Fold the bottom up, match it up, and crease it down. Perfect. This gives you that line of symmetry right down the center of the paper. We're going to be using ink daubers to draw out our butterflies. It's important to remember to never squeeze the bottle. This is important because if you squeeze the bottle, you're going to squirt ink all over your page and it's going to make quite a mess. The way the ink dubber works is there's a small felt pad at the top where the ink comes out when you press down on the paper. Let's take a look at that butterfly picture again. We are only going to be drawing one side of our butterfly. Every time we draw, we're going to turn the paper over, press the massage down, and you'll see an exact image on the other side of the paper. Let's get started. I'm going to do each step and tell you when to pause the video and complete the step on your own. Make sure you are paying attention and ready to create. Start by finding the center of the page in the middle of that line of symmetry. Go up a little bit and tap, tap, tap. That's where you're going to start. I'm going to make a small half circle for the butterfly's head. I'm folding the paper over and I see an exact image on the other side. Now, I don't see it very well, so I'm gonna go over that line one more time. Remember, do not squeeze that bottle. Press and I can see that, that looks a lot better. Now it's time to make the thorax, drawing only on half of the paper, a small half circle, press down, and oh, it looks like I may have squeezed the bottle just a little bit. Make sure you are not squeezing the bottle because that's what's gonna happen. And finally, I'm going to do the abdomen. The abdomen is another half circle, press it down, and now you can see the whole body of the butterfly. Go ahead and pause the video and do those three steps now. I'm going to make a small dot in the upper right hand corner of my page so I know where I'm going. And you can see there's a reflection on the other side. Starting at the abdomen, draw a line up to that dot. Fold your paper over and massage. Go ahead and do that. Now remember, if you don't see the line very well, go over the exact same line and do it one more time. Press down, massage, and you should see a darker line. Perfect. All right, now let's finish the top wing by coming around and going back to the thorax. Down and a kind of wiggly line and back to the thorax. Press your paper over and massage. Pause the video and make sure you're on the same step as me. Let's make the bottom wing. The bottom wing is a rounded line that goes back up again to the thorax. So starting at the bottom of the top wing, go around and up to the thorax. Turn your paper and massage. Hmm, it looks like I can't see that, so I'm gonna go over that line one more time and press down piece of cake. Now we're going to create the designs inside the wings. The butterfly has veins that go throughout the wings, so we're going to be drawing those lines. Watch what I do and then you can look at your picture of a monarch butterfly and create your own. Each time you make your line, remember to flip your page over, massage, and check that the other side is visible. If it's not visible, go over that line one more time. Keep going until you have filled your butterfly wings with different veins and lines. I'm using bumpy lines for the edges. 
Oops, I may have squeezed the bottle just a little bit too much there. Oh, yeah. Squeeze the bottle, but now I can't see it on the other side. So I'm going to go over those edges one more time. Be careful not to squeeze the bottle. I'm going to keep going with my veins. Go ahead and make your veins and designs inside your Monarch Wings butterfly. You want to make sure you have spaces to use your oil pastels to color the wings bright orange. Don't forget to press down your paper every time you draw a line. Once you've finished your designs, now it's time to simply outline the lines on the left side of the paper exactly where the mirror image is, just tracing over where you drew your lines. I'm noticing that the monarch's head, thorax, and abdomen are all black, so I'm going to take my ink dauber and just fill in the body. Now, don't forget the antenna. A monarch butterfly has two antenna that come out of the head. You're just going to draw one on one side, flip the paper over, so you can get an exact symmetrical image. Now I can't see that, so I'm gonna go over it one more time. Flip the page over. Where is that line? There it is, now I can trace it. Now that I'm done with my ink dauber, I'm going to cap it and put it away. It's time to begin coloring our monarch butterfly. Our monarch butterfly is bright orange, but if you look closely, the top wings are a much darker orange and the bottom wings are a lighter orange. We're going to be using three different oil pastels today. We're going to use red, yellow, and orange. Since the top wings are a darker red orange, I'm going to take my red and fill in a little bit of the white spaces on the top. Then I'm going to go back over with my orange oil pastel and go over the top of the entire white space. That's going to blend to make a red orange. Make sure you get all the peekaboo spots and no white paper is showing. The bottom wings are a lighter orange. So I'm going to take my orange, fill in some of the spots, and then take my yellow and go over the entire space, blending the yellow and the orange. You can even blend all three of the colors, the red, the orange, and then go over everything with your yellow. Don't forget to get all the peekaboo spots. You do not want any of your white paper showing through. Once you've got your monarch butterfly colored in bright orange, it's time to paint the background. We're going to be using liquid watercolor and we're going to paint the entire background with liquid watercolor. It's going to be in these cups here. Dip, wipe it on the lip, and begin painting. When you run out of watercolor, go ahead and dip back into the cup and get more on your paintbrush. No need to rinse your brush since you're going to be painting the entire background the same color. Make sure you paint the entire background and there are no white spaces showing. There's one final step to create our monarch butterfly paintings, and that's adding the white spots that go around the edges of the monarch butterfly's wings. We're gonna be using liquid tempera paint and a Q-tip. Just dip your Q-tip end into the white paint and dot around on the edges of the wing. Piece of cake.
And there you have it, a beautiful monarch butterfly. I cannot wait to see what you create.